it's now all level, the screws are in. Now comes the fun part, the, the foam that expands. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is the day where we finally put the recording booth window into the wall, no matter what. I'm waiting already for one week for the ordered ones, they didn't show up. And the entire studio construction is delayed just because of the window. The window has to go in first, and then the painting, then the cleaning, and then the studio construction, the absorbers, the table, the speakers, the diffusers on the back wall, the couch, and then this room is finally done, and I'm able to go back to making music. It, it really feels weird not being able to make music for now almost two weeks. As you already know, we tested the wall, just made a little hole to see what it actually is made of. This is, um, I think in German it's called Utong. It's like stone, but very soft stone, so you can cut it with a saw very easily. I was first hoping it's a drywall, because then I just could have cut it and just installed the window. But actually the stone is even better, it will make it more stable and also be better for the acoustic and it will then be also covered on the other side where the vocal booth is. But let me actually give you a, a quick tour so that you know what this room and the vocal booth actually looks like and what we're planning to construct here. This is the entire Studio B, this will be the, the vocal booth wall, the speakers will go here in the front, the sweet spot roundabout where the, the, the chair is. The entrance to the room, we already got a cable box to install it into the wall, the diffusers are also already here and the keyboard. And then you leave this studio through a little hallway and get right into the vocal booth. It has a really nice size, the window will go here. A lot of absorption, maybe a little bit of diffusion on the back wall. Basically this entire room will be covered. I will probably also close the window just to make sure that there is no noise coming from the outside. And yeah, the, the entire room needs uh, some, some cleaning. Are you done with the business stuff? Not at all. <laughs> no? Okay, but, but don't, don't, don't bother with it. Today is just the window, it's so important. It really delays the entire construction of the studio. Um, I mean, this office is just pure chaos. I'm waiting to get all of the speakers, records, the DJ stuff into the studio. Once it's done, for it being done, we need that window. So, let's go window shopping. Okay, we got that window right here. It's like three glasses and in between gas, so it's very good for isolating sound and also heat. We paid for everything, I think 160? 180? Yeah, 170. With all of the tools that we need. We also got a huge drill just to get into the wall. This saw right here, it's a special saw for that kind of down, just to keep everything leveled. That's the filling material that goes between the window and the wall. This is also highly Schalldämmung. That's a German word. It's isolating. 61 dB. That's quite a lot. These are for um, keeping a space between the window and the wall. I don't know why Leonard threw me this just to measure. We didn't even buy that. <laughs> Yeah, screws just to hold it in place. And I think that's it, or? Yeah. Uh, we forgot some things and we made one mistake. So really quick, back again, buying some stuff, back again here, continuing with the construction. We're back, got a bigger saw. This will make everything a lot faster. And a bigger window, cause you know, bigger is better. Now back to sawing. Hello Leonard. Hello John, how are you doing? <laughs> this will be so cool once it's done, but just, just back to sawing, drilling. 
a huge hole over here. Good view onto the Where? vocal recording booth. Where's? Don't see any difference. And then here the view for the vocalist right onto the sweet spot. Hello. So next up basically cleaning this area, putting the window in and then the, the foam that you can spray to make it airtight and then we're pretty much done. Sounds easier than it is, we both have never done something like this before, first time. So it might not be all perfect, but it should serve its purpose. The window is now finally in place, it might seem a lot easier in the video than it was. It took us how many tries? Two, three? Three. Three tries. And even one more time getting new screws. So we had to drive again, so three times of driving, three times of trying to get it in there. It's now all level, the screws are in. Now comes the fun part, the, the foam that expands. Thanks a lot to Leonard, without him this wouldn't be possible. I have way less clue than him doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. Never ever try to do it on your own, it's, it's impossible. No, like, you need if to you try, two. you need at least two people yes. and one of them <laughs> should be a little bit trained in yes. construction yes. stuff. But yeah, let's just dry it, do a little bit of business stuff mm -hmm. and then do the big test how much yeah. it actually does because um, I'm pretty sure we will build a second one right in front of here, absorption. But I think this single one should already do quite a lot. Great. Yeah. The test coming after the B-roll. Big test. You stand here, you clap the same loudness the entire time, and I will move from here to the other room, close the door so we can test it. So first, go in the middle, test, clap. Okay, the same clap. It's good. Scream! What? I'm now going to clap for Leonard. <laughs> so good. He, he can't understand me. It's, it's still not enough. <laughs> but I think for vocal recording it's enough. But I will do the second window so we can also record drums in here. Because yeah. you might not know, but Leonard is a drummer. For how many years did you? Uh, already 12 play? or 30. Now. So that's good. So if I ever need live drums, just in here is enough room and I got someone to play it.